All right, so I called this one carried. Now, um, it's, a, it's a bit of an odd carry deck, but it is one for carry. Um, knowledge, growth, those were the affinities we went with. Um, yeah. So now, this is uh, probably one of my favorite decks. Um, just because of the cards that are in it. Growth is, uh, it's hard for growth still not to be my favorite affinity. It really is. Um, with so much going on, growth is still a dominant force and really stands out as, um, you know, those bigger, bulkier powerhouses. Whereas, you know, chaos is gonna be um, more of your powerhouse with uh, <laughs> uh, your glass cannons. Um, death is going to be more of your sneaky stuff like it always was. Uh, knowledge is going to be for mages and lots of mana, 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 mana everywhere. Even utilizing that mana as, say, you know, Thermitage, which is the new Hyde Reverser. And then Order is your support. So with uh, needing health, you're always going to want to go to, uh, or needing to bulk up in general, you're always going to want to go to growth. And, um, there's some phenomenal cards in here, actually, though, for carries, still. And that's what we built this deck around. So, to start it off, Apex Predator. Now, this phenomenal card gives you 10 power and 14 attack speed. On top of that, you're gonna, it's going to grant you a stack of 0.6 power when damaging an enemy hero, stacking up to 50 times. Now, at max stacks, you're going to gain 18 ability armor. So that's where that defense comes in. So you're hitting, hitting, hitting. We call back to base, go back out, hit, hit, hit some more. You know, when you get up to 50 stacks, you're going to gain that ability armor and be able to tank a bit more. Now, it gives you phenomenal uh, power and attack speed, and then you're going to build up even more. Now, Cryo Agent. Knowledge is really coming close as a close second favorite of mine. And this is one of those cards that makes the reason why. Now, Cryo Agent gives you 13 power and 140 mana. Now, its passive is Ice Burst. After using an ability, your next basic attack will deal 125 ability damage in an area and slow move speed of targets hit by 150 for 1.5 seconds. So. I draw a pail of arrows, I shoot an arrow off, and I deal burst damage of 125 ability damage plus the basic, adam basic damage for hitting them with the arrow, and then slow them so I can run up on them and continue to burst them down. Beastly. That's, that's ice powers out the ass. Oh, it's so good. All right, and then we have Font of experience for early game, gain four experience every 10 seconds. Nothing special um, in there is an option, as well as Highwayman. Whenever you deal damage to an enemy hero, every 15 seconds, you'll gain 75 gold. We have Impact Leader as well. Another really, really good growth card that for 30 seconds, an enemy will, you mark will have all allied minions attack them. So if you're trying to burst somebody down what better way to do it? And it gives you eight power. And it only, it do, it's very cheap. I think it's one um, agility and two um, intellect. So uh, fairly cheap. You can get it after 3,000 gold and then, um, you know, gain the upper hand on somebody. Especially if you're fair, uh, Sparrow with those Relentless. Um, you go in to keep shooting, stacking, stacking, stacking that damage. Early game, you can kill somebody really in uh, quickly who thought they could tank you uh, Power tap now. This is one of those knowledge cards that just makes consumable Freaking worth it now say you have an apex predator and these last two cards here and you have power tap and you've got 4,000 gold well, you can take power tap put it on apex uh, slot it in remove apex predator slot in power tap use power tap and then slot back in apex predator for only the four thousand cost of the power tap you still keep all of that 
and you can slot that right back in using those um, attribute points again. Now power tap gives you nothing when you slot it, but as soon as you use it, which you're going to slot it, immediately use it, slot something else, because every time you use it, it's going to permanently increase your power by 15. Across the board, that's it. No strings, you get a 15 bump up in, in power. What? That's on top of these stacks here. Now, you're not going to want to get rid of Apex Predator. That was a bad bad description because then you'll lose those stacks. So say you've got on the next card, which I'll talk about in a second, you can remove that. Um, you're not going to want to lose those stacks of Apex Predator, but uh, Cryo Agent would be a good one to remove as well. Um, now that's just 15 across the board. So every you know time you get 4,000 gold and you don't want to spend it on some attributes. You can just literally get a bump up in power. Now, Swift Hunter, another growth card, you get 10 power, 15 attack speed, Executioner's Rush, you're going to gain 125 move speed for 10 seconds after killing an enemy unit. So if you feel like you need to get out, put that in as an option. You get uh, attack speed and power to burst somebody down and then get out really quickly. Um, it's basically the charging brute for today's meta <laughs> for the current build. And then Trapper, uh, which is another phenomenal card, rivaling Apex Predator. Slowing Strikes. Basic attacks reduce enemy move speed by 10 seconds for 5 seconds. Oh, excuse me, by 10 for 5 seconds, stacking up to 10 times. So you're going to max remove 100 move speed. But at max stats, you're going to root for 1 second. So just imagine you're shooting somebody, shooting somebody, you're still moving towards them, they're slowing, 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 rooted, slowing, 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 rooted. Now it's actually 10 slows and then root, but you can really burst somebody down. 32 attack speed, 32 attack, you're getting those 10 stacks really, really fast. 32 attack speed and 15 power. By the time that first root comes, if they're not killing you, if it's a one-on-one -on -one and they're not killing you, you've killed them. That's it. If they're trying to run, that's it. They're done. Their best move, if they see you coming and they know you have that card, is to fight it out and try and kill you before they, you kill them because there's no way they're getting away unless you're a bad shot. Because five seconds, you slowed them for five seconds. Now it's only 10, max 100 but still five seconds. So yeah, that is a uh, late game, uh, mid to late game card, depending on how fast you're, you're really getting those and how much you've been putting buying all these other cards. Now, as always, there are options. So um, your final build is gonna look something like Apex Predator, Trapper, and then Cryo Agent, or you could switch Cryo Agent for Swift Hunt. Uh, or if you don't like Apex Predator, you could switch it for Swift Hunt. You know, whatever. Um, Swift Hunt's kind of, I think, the alternate in this deck. Um, now we went for improved killing blows, so you're going to gain five bonus gold when killing an enemy minion. Healing towers, so you're going to gain 2.2 health regen and 1.2 mana regen while near structures. Um, just in case you need to jump back, and then you can heal really quickly. Uh, auto shield. So you're going to gain a shield when you fall below 25% max health. Help you to get back to that tower to heal. Um, ruthless, so you're going to deal an additional 2% basic damage to heroes for every 10% of enemy heroes missing health. So as you're running them down, you're going to be dealing more damage. Oh my lord. Ridiculous. Relentless pursuit. Basic attacks no longer apply. A combat penalty. So when you're running them down, you're running them down at full speed. That comes with attack speed and mana regen. That's mind blowing. That changes the game. You're just running, 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 shooting, shooting, shooting. It's over. Um, or if you're, you know, Seraph or you're Wukong, I mean, it's even more over because you don't even have to aim at that point. <clears throat> and then we went for empowered rounds. So 
303.5 attack speed and every fifth basic attack landed will deal an additional 100 ability damage. Wow. Power out the butt. Talk about a carry. And you're just going to be able to chase people down. Chase people down. Chase people down. So um, Murdoch, who, who chases people down anyways, can fire and not lose move speed. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. So if your mind has blown as well, let me know. If it hasn't, let me know why. I'm interested. I want to hear from you. Also subscribe. I need subscribers. Thank you.